Hi everyone, Eric at Retro Handheld Guides, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and configure Plum OS on your Magic X XU Mini M. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the Plum OS uh, firmware package and that can be got from the Plum OS GitHub page. Uh, so I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below, but uh, one easy way to find it is if you just Google Plum OS, you'll see that the second result for me currently is uh, Plum OS. If I go here, this is not the Plum OS that we want, but it is by the same developer. Uh, so if you do get to this version, what you want to do is just go back into the root here, gamede.it, and then you want to look for the XU Mini M version. So if we click on the XU Mini M version, it does bring up the Plum OS uh, GitHub page for the XU Mini M, which is the one that we're going to want. Uh, you can see down here, Plum OS, so it should have something that looks like this. Now what we want to do is we want to get the latest release, so you can find the latest releases over here on the right hand side, and as you can see there was one that was actually just released earlier today. So if I click on this, you'll see that it brings up the latest release page, some details about how to uh, extract uh, and it increase the partition. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about this later as well. What you first want to do is just scroll down to the bottom of this releases page, and in here you can see that there are three files that we're going to need. Uh, so you want to grab the files labeled Plum OS. This is version 8. It is a 7-zip file, and we want 001, 002, and 003. So I've downloaded all these files, and once I have the files, they are going to uh, be showing up here in my uh, directory. And in order to extract these, you'll want a program called 7-zip. So 7-zip is available for free. Uh, it's available online. Just grab the version that is uh, for your particular device. And then what you want to do is you want to find the first file, 001. And if you click on it, I'm going to go to Show More Options here. And from here, under my 7-zip, I simply want to extract here. So this is going to extract the file that's inside. And that's the file that we're going to want to use. So once I've extracted it, it should have a file here called plumos and then uh, .img. So this img file is the one that we're going to be using to flash to our brand new SD card. And now to flash the image, what I'm using is a program called Rufus. This one is also available for free. I grabbed the portable version so I don't need to install anything. It's a uh, self-contained exe. And once I open it, it will then uh, give me everything that I'm going to need. So here you can see I have a 32 gig SD card inserted into my computer. And from there, what I want to do is click on the select button. And then from select, I want to find the location of the IMG file that I've extracted. Select that and click open. And then from there, I simply need to click on the start button. So just make sure that you have your um, SD card selected and then click the start button. It'll give you some warnings. It's going to destroy everything on this device. Are you sure? Yes. As long as you're sure, then it's blank. And that will begin to write the image for you onto this SD card. So this process is going to take a little while. We'll just let this complete uh, and then we'll come back and see what we need to do for our next couple of steps. All right. So now that the writing process is done, what we want to do is going to expand the partition for the games to take advantage of all the space that is on our SD card. When we create this image onto the file, what it does is it just minimizes the amount of space that's currently be being used for games. So if we look over here on our device, uh, the properties of this will show that we currently only have um, a little bit of free space left to apply our games. Now 26 megabytes is obviously not enough to put in all of our games. So what we want to do is we want to use a program called uh, the uh, Partition Wizard. It is available uh, through downloads for free, and if you go back into your GitHub page, you'll see that they do include a link for you to grab that uh, particular piece of software. Uh, so if you follow through this, it does bring you to the Japanese version. Uh, just flip it over to English, and then what you want to do is you want to grab the uh, Partition Wizard uh, and install the freeware version. Now when you install the freeware version and open it up, it will look like this. 
So here we have the partition wizard and you can see if we scroll down into our disk two, which is my SD card that's been inserted, we currently only have 132 megabytes allocated for our games and there are 22 gigabytes free. So we wanna use this free space to put all of our games on. So in order to do that, once you have your partition wizard running, simply right click on this games um, folder or the uh, games partition. And from there, what we want to do is we want to move slash resize this. So if I click on the move resize, you'll see here the current allocation. Simply grab this and then all the way over so that we're using up the entire uh, space that is available to us that is currently unallocated. Click the OK button. And from there, it's going to tell you that it's going to use up this full amount of space that is, cur that is currently unallocated. Um, but this hasn't been applied yet. So the next step, once we're comfortable with this, is if we actually uh, just click on the apply button down here in the lower left hand corner. Now what this is going to do is it's going to resize that particular partition for you. So it gives us uh, all of that space back to add our ROMs. Now this is a completely optional uh, part of this particular installation wizard um, because in the case of updates for Plum OS, they currently do not support online updating. Aside from the fact that the Mini M does not have a Wi-Fi chip, uh, we also don't have a clear update path without reflashing your uh, OS every single time. So rather than going through this process, what I'd recommend is just find a small SD card and then use that SD card to flash the operating system onto and then use a second blank FAT32 formatted SD card as your games card and insert that into your um, TF2 slot. So the, uh, the game slot on the right hand side of the device. And then that way you will be able to reflash the OS as many times as you want to while maintaining all of your ROMs on the device uh, without having to move them every single time. So this process does take a little while, but once this is done, you simply grab the SD card from the uh, computer and then insert it into your device on the left-hand side into the TF1 slot and then boot it up. And so I'll let this process complete and then we will take a look at the next steps for configuring your Plum OS for your new device. Just before we insert our SD card into our device for the first time, uh, we can move over our ROMs directly onto our new uh, OS. So when you finish extracting or expanding that uh, partition for games, you should see it here. Uh, and hopefully it's got a whole bunch of free space now available for you to add your games. If you don't see your games partition uh, already show up by default, uh, you can simply use Windows to search for a create and format hard disk partitions uh, tool uh, that's in your control panel. Uh, and as you open up this, it should show you all of the disks that you currently have. Uh, if we scroll down, we'll see our removable SD card. Just find the game partition, right click on it, tell it to change the letter or path, and then just make sure you add a path so that it has uh, a drive letter assigned to it. And then from there, you'll be able to access it. If you're using a two card um, setup, then you'll only have one partition and it should just be the game partition. But if we open up the game partition, you'll see here that this has a number of folders already in it. These folders are where you're gonna be dropping your ROMs. Uh, the first thing you'll wanna do is just make sure that you've copied over all of your BIOS files. Uh, so that'll have to be sourced from uh, wherever it is that you get your BIOS files from, um, and then drop those into this uh, particular folder so that you can have compatibility for things like Dreamcast and for uh, PlayStation. Otherwise, these folders should hopefully be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, they are labeled for each of the individual systems that you're going to want to add your ROMs to. So Dreamcast, uh, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, N64, all of these are where you're gonna be dropping your ROM files to add to your disk. And then from there, uh, once you have all of your files moved over, simply pop your SD card out of your computer and uh, into your device and turn it on for the first time. So now that we've flashed the OS to our SD card, simply grab that from your computer and then pop it back into your device. Uh, so that will go on the left-hand side in the TF1 slot. And then once you've inserted it, make sure it's nice and snug. I uh, just turn on your device. And from there, 
we will go into Plum OS. Uh, so this one doesn't have a lot of configuration that you're going to need to do. Uh, once it boots up, you're basically ready to go. Uh, there is a couple of things that you will want to adjust as you go into Plum OS for the first time. Uh, the first one is to enable max performance. Uh, to do that, click on the start button and then go into your game settings. And from game settings, just make sure enable max performance is on. This will allow us to use max performance uh, for things like uh, PSP. Uh, for the other emulators, you can set this on a per emulator basis uh, through the uh, through the select button on the ROM screen. Uh, otherwise, just load up your games into your ROMs uh, folders, which is on that games partition. Uh, so just pop that out of your device and into your computer and then load it up into the uh, folders under the games partition. Otherwise, I highly recommend using a two SD card setup for this device as Plum OS is regularly being updated and without Wi-Fi on this device, there is no uh, over the air updates. Uh, so you will be needing to reflash that SD card fairly regularly. Uh, so what I do recommend is just grabbing a second SD card and then popping that into your uh, right hand side uh, through the right hand um, side. You will then be able to um, put in your uh, ROMs on the second card. Uh, when you have a second card inserted, you will need to make sure that you're telling the device to use a second card, and that can be done using the start button. And if you go down here to the TF card management, just tell it that you're going to be using TF1 and TF2 for your ROMs. Uh, so that is going to take a little while to uh, apply. Uh, once you've applied that, uh, it will go through and make sure that the ROMs directories are created on that card. And then from there, you can go into the second card and then uh, apply all of your games into the folders on that. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's uh, Plum OS. Uh, Plum OS is a great operating system for this device as it does enable a higher clock speed for the device than the stock OS, plus you have your configuration. So I'm looking forward to seeing some improvements on this device and through Plum OS and other uh, custom firmwares uh, as this device becomes more popular. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you have anything else you'd like to see for the Magic X XU Mini M, uh, any particular systems that you want me to test, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments below.